Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Got a little uh, tech advice or some maintenance tips for you today. Um, we're gonna check the primary chain tension on this 2012 883 Iron Sportster. Now I'm also in the middle of an oil change, so that's why the clutch cover is off the thing. But to check the primary tension, you've got this little cover right here with two screws on it. You can take a 532nd Allen wrench and thread the screws out. Now in full disclosure, I already broke these free, so they do just thread right on out of there. Whoops, just hit the camera. Hang on one second there. There we go. Now that it's free, you can take a small screwdriver. Should be able to just pop that free. Give your gasket a quick inspection. Make sure it came off in one piece and it's not damaged. And if it did, you should be able to reuse that. Take a rag, clean up your surface here. So the service manual for this says it should be half inch to five eighths of play on your primary chain tension. Now also make sure your bike is in neutral, which this one is. But what we're looking at is the amount of movement here on the top of your primary chain tension. So you can eyeball it if you want. We're gonna get here with a steel rule or tape measure. And uh, from my vantage point, it's lining up with the three quarter mark. And it goes up to inch and a quarter. So therefore, we're right at the half inch mark. So we're sitting good on primary chain tension. If this is too loose, you're gonna hear a bunch of slapping going on. If it's too tight, it'll be hard to shift and hard to find neutral. Plus it can cause things to prematurely wear out. Nobody wants that. So since this is good, you can just keep clean this gasket surface off, put your cover back on, tighten up your screws, and you're ready to go ride. 